So I feel like jokes are really important in recovery because a good sense of humor can take you a long way. So what do you do if you have a broken toe? You do. I don't know. What do you do when you have a broken toe? You call a tow truck. <laughs> One of the great say after the elephant stuff on it. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't. It, it didn't say anything. It just let out a little whine. Why were Helen Keller's pants wet? Because her dog was flying too. But why wouldn't the shrimp share his treasure? I don't know why. Because he was shellfish. What, what did the cannibal do after he dumped his wife? What did the cannibal do after he dumped his wife? Uh huh. Star humping uh, her? He wiped his butt. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the difference between a guitar and a fish? I don't know. You can't tune a fish. Why did Helen Carr's dog run away from home? You'd run too if your name was uh. Why did the picture go to jail? Why? Because he was framed. Why did the tennis ball plug its ears? Why did the tennis ball plug its ears? Yep. Because there's too much racket. <laughs> Not bad. Right. What green and red looks like a helicopter? frog in a blender. So why was Jesus in two places at once? I don't know. Because he was double crossed. Did you hear about the race between the lettuce and the tomato? No. The lettuce was ahead and the tomato was trying to catch up. Did you know that Helen Keller had a dollhouse in her backyard? Neither did she. What's the difference between a snowman and a Pillsbury Doughboy? What? A snowman has snowballs and the Pillsbury Doughboy has donuts. Um, what do you call a sleepwalking nun? I don't know. A Roman Catholic. <laughs> hey, this is Mike Shank, and we're at my favorite antique store um, in Baby, Wisconsin. And uh, I kind of switched addictions when I stopped getting high and drinking. I started collecting antique religious objects to decorate my bedroom with. It all started with a castle that I set on my stereo speaker, and I started adding stuff to the castle. and started adding around that and now I got wall to wall and everywhere in between. Alright, cool, so I'll put the plan. We'll check out, see if they got any new rosaries. And keep looking around. Um, see how much this is over here. Clothing over here, I guess. Um, these, uh, these are really old, but they're really expensive too. Yeah. See. Uh, but yeah, these are the rosaries I usually buy, but they haven't got no new ones in, so probably not gonna buy one today. Uh, I'm not sure what this this is, but it looks you know they all have halos in it. You wouldn't take 25 for that, would you? Uh, packs in uh, Okay. What's the significance of this that you're buying here? I'm I'm not sure what it's a picture of, but I just thought it's kind of neat because it was from 1920 and yeah, I got halos and I used to see that. Dennis, do you know any significance about this object here? This here? Yeah. Uh, it appears to be Joseph and Mary. Okay. You know, I don't know if they're who's teaching who here, but uh, <laughs> I okay. think that's what the nature of that. Okay. You find like from the 1890s to about the 1950s, there's so many different, uh, okay. you know, most yeah. of them are German. But you happy with what you bought? Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah.